eggs are one of the most commonly consumed products worldwide. They're chock full of protein and there's a McMillion ways to make them. Today we'll explore some lesser known tricks to streamline your egg experience and even unravel an ancient mystery along the way. When your hunger pains call for something a little more extravagant than an egg sandwich, introduce yourself to the not-so-awful waffle. Before starting, some green onions, peppers, and tomatoes were diced, and these freshly cracked eggs were whisked into a scramble. Now take your omelet station over to your local waffle iron and spray it down with a little non-stick spray. Using a ladle, carefully scoop the eggs into the waffle maker and close the lid. If possible, resist the urge to flip it over as you're directly in the splash zone. After just a minute or two, some steam will be pouring out. You can flip it over if you'd like, and at this point, your plain omelet is ready to pop on out. Regardless of the shape, the eggs remain fluffy, a little awkward to remove without the use of your hands, but that'll make them taste better and boost your immune system as well. Now, if you want something a little more interesting, why not add an amalgam of toppings? After adding some bacon bits to the mix, just pour it in, and hey, why not add a little more egg to fill this thing up a bit? Oh, that's why, with a steam and a hiss, it was apparent that the omelet tried to escape. Keep in mind that you'll need room for the eggs to expand while cooking, so don't overdo it. But it's nothing that a little trim can't fix. And there you have it, a real masterpiece in the world of culinary arts. And this is more than just sustenance, it's your passion and vision. Beautiful! <laughs> the mystery of the long egg is only slightly more obscure than the discovery of the long chicken. For years, this culinary oddity has perplexed and appalled diners worldwide, but no longer. First, we're gonna need some food-safe PVC with an inch and a half diameter, a three-quarter inch rod, and a few caps, PVC cutter, and a drill. If your PVC has a lip on it, hold it down securely and use the cutter to remove it easily. Using your drill, make some holes in the center of your PVC caps until the little rod is able to slide through. For this next part, you're gonna need a sous vide cooker. Yeah, I could do it with a pot of water and a timer, but we have all these fancy tools to show off. Set it to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, or 85 degrees Celsius, and let it do its magic while we separate the yolks from the whites. To easily make that happen, grab a large slotted spoon in a couple bowls. Holding the spoon over the bowls, use your other two hands to crack the egg into the spoon. Then give it a little shimmy and get that good stuff flowing. We purposely let a little yolk in there just so you can feel superior. Now you're gonna have to spray the interior of the PVC here with some cooking spray to make it nice and oily. Roll up some wax paper as well and slide that into the oily tube, leaving a little hanging out for later. Take a look here, this is what you should see on the inside. Now go ahead and take a square of wax paper and cover up the hole in the cap. Although our tube isn't threaded, it fits into the cap quite snugly with the addition of the wax paper. When you've got it all set up, slide the 3 4 of an inch rod into the wax paper, resting it into the divot. Grab yourself a funnel and pour some egg whites right in there. Keep in mind that this chamber is quite small and will fill up quickly. After folding over the excess paper, slide the other cap over the rod and close up your contraption. With our tank of water finally heated to the right temperature, drop your pipe right on in. You're going to want to clamp it here for about 30 minutes. When the timer expires, use a glove and remove the device. Taking off the top cap of the device, you can see that your egg whites have cooked into a solid. Sliding the rod out, we've also created a chamber for the yolks to inhabit shortly feels like warm apple pie. Go ahead and peel off that soggy wax paper and set the pipe back up and pour that golden goodness right down the gullet. Looks like four eggs did the trick for us perfectly. You can use a normal cap for the end since no rod's gonna be needed this time. Now drop it back in the water and set the water temperature to be 175 degrees Fahrenheit or about 74 Celsius. You'll leave this in here for about 30 minutes as well. When the top is popped off, should see something like this, but don't be fooled by its appearance as the end was slightly above water. Go ahead and uncap the other side and use your fingers to slowly and carefully push the egg from the tube. Just trim off the ugly ends at both sides, peel that wax paper from the egg and you're good to go. Mmm, a deliciously elongated egg that's ready for slicing. Just take a sharp knife and carefully cut it into pieces. Your wary house guests will have no idea what they're looking at. 
Better yet, toss it into a hot dog bun and show up to your company meeting as the true businessman, DeLorean, that you really are. This is the way. Before we move on to the next one, here's a quick tip for all you hard-boiled egg lovers. Everyone knows how tedious it can be to peel hard-boiled eggs. It's a mess. Do yourself a favor and just use a serrated blade to cut right through the egg. This is going to allow you to get a nice, quick, and easy peel. But regardless of what you've heard about scooping an egg out with a spoon, it's a total bust. If you really want to up the ante, you know what you need, power tools. Next time you're throwing down some deviled eggs for your Golden Girls Marathon, just bust out that miter saw for a minute and ooh, now you've got an art installation to go with your meal. They always say that you eat with your eyes first, and that's why presentation is key. All you'll need is some eggs and a regular old onion. Start by pinching the end because it likes that. Then remove the outer skin from the onion before turning it onto its side to get your slice on. Make sure you keep your slices straight through because you want the onion to have a uniform height. Utilizing some of the wider parts from the center, you can remove the outer rings of the onion and check them against your biscuit of choice to ensure a good fit. This one's good to go. Prepare your cookware normally. Place the onion ring into the pan and crack your egg right inside of it. The onion ring creates an ideal barrier, and if you've got a good slice, the walls will be high enough to contain the entire egg. A few moments later, feel free to bless this mess with a little seasoning, then cover it up and let it cook to completion. Now doesn't that look fantastic? You've got yourself an Instagram-worthy McMuffin that no one can arrange to win behind the scenes. Truth be told, this trick also works great with a bell pepper and is a go-to for all our fancy Fancy egg eating friends. It arguably looks better than the onion does and can turn your breakfast from garbage to gourmet in just a few minutes. Sometimes the best food tricks involve stuff that you've already got on hand, and the Ziploc omelet is no different. Grab yourself some Ziploc bags out of your brother's top drawer, then head down to your ingredients. Add your toppings, ladle some eggs into the pouch, and seal it closed. In mere seconds, you can prep a meal that your cardiologist will love. To transform your pouches into delectable cuisine, roll the tops of the bags over the spatula handle and clip them into place. Add them to a simmering pot of water with the spatula resting on top. Just make sure the eggs are floating and not on the bottom. Now it's safe to add the lid and speed the process along. Uh, make that mostly safe. As always, don't leave your water unattended for too long as the expansion of the eggs will raise the water level substantially, turning your stovetop into a simmering oasis. This might be a good time to remove the spatula. When your omelets are complete, turn off the stove and carefully remove the bags with tongs, because the clip is way too hot to touch. After letting them rest for just a minute, you can either refrigerate these for later or unleash them on your unwitting guests. Well, we certainly hope we cracked open some new ideas for you. As always, thank you so much for tuning in to Household Hacker. We'll see you next time.